Hi, thanks for watching Aquarian Tech. Um, today I was just actually doing some cleaning of my plants, you know, after my water change or whatever, and I thought it'd be pretty useful because I have had some questions about it, um, on how to clean your plants. Now I might divide this up into multiple videos and maybe make them come out later and stuff because different plants are different okay so but today I'll tell you we will be dealing with the uh, Enchidorus plants I don't really know how to pronounce I'm, I'm horrible with pronouncing stuff like that um like Enchidorus and Dorturus um basically they're the family of uh, pl or I think they're a genus or species of plants that uh I think it's genus uh, of plants of like the Amazon sword you know, the melon sword. I mean, pretty much if it has a sword, a ranger sword, I mean, if it has a sword in its name, it's probably going to be in this, uh, in this uh, family here. But if it's not limited to just that, okay? There's a lot of other plants in here. And I'll name the plants that I'm cleaning, and I'll show you my technique with these plants. And if any of you have these plants, um, first off, you'll know that they're awesome plants. They're usually mid to background plants. Um, they're also for any, they're awesome for any, uh, Fish that eat algae. I mean, they're all or you know, autosynclus best plants possible you can ever have for them. And uh, uh, also that they are somewhat hard to care for. They do need uh, a decent. They need a decent amount of light. Um, they need need a decent amount of nutrition and substrate. And uh, you know, they're also somewhat delicate. Okay, so. Uh, today I'll go ahead and show you my little technique that I do because of course Even all the things I do all the chemical filters I might use for it um, all the natural things I use like fish and just uh, maybe not the you know changing my bulbs or Anything that I do to prevent algae you can't always prevent it. Okay, it's gonna happen so Sometimes you have to manually remove it of course because you know Algae will eventually choke out the plants, not just from light, from blocking the plant from absorbing the light, but also, you know, it can absorb the nutrients in the water, okay? So, there are a number of reasons to do it, and plus it's just unsightly, okay? So, and if you guys watched that flora update video, that that's what I was using it for. I was using it as, like, a hospital tank front. Because I, I don't really have algae too bad, but in one of my tanks, you know, I had ordered a... I got a fixture, I forgot to change the bulbs out of it, they're marine bulbs, and of course blue bulbs grow algae like crazy, so there's a tip right there, don't use blue bulbs, make sure, and by that I mean atinic bulbs, you know, make sure you use, uh, you know, bulbs for plants anywhere between 6,000 to, you know, 10,000 K, alright, anyways, moving on, I'll show you here, because oh. <sighs> I've been doing this for a while, I have a ton of plants, and... Uh, it, it takes forever. So, anyways, I'll go ahead and show you here. Here's one of my tanks. I'm just starting on this one, okay? Let's turn on the light here. This was actually the one with that fixture that I was talking about. It's that uh, Aquatic Life. Let's turn on that light and we'll turn on that light, okay? So, anyways, here, let me turn this one off. Or, actually, let me get on. Okay, so anyways, let's pick one here. Uh, we'll take this one. My store finally got some Siamese algae eaters in, so I was finally able to get more of them. Ah. Ah. Try not to move this fixture, because I actually have a little tub of water up here for my plants, and I'll kind of show you what that's about here in a minute. Alright, so we pick our plant. Alright, now this tank, it's kind of rough in there for them. I have some uh, loaches running around in there, and they punch holes in the plant sometimes. So it probably wasn't the best choice for this tank, but it's okay. The light's so strong in this tank that the tank, the plants grow right back, and I use some of the best supplements and whatnot. And uh, I have CO2 in, uh, injection in there. I actually uh, have it down right now, but... Uh, CO2 is actually a good way to control algae, but I'll do a whole video on how to control algae because algae control is basically nutrient control. If you ha if I had to put it in one look two in two words, algae control equal nutrient control. Anyways, 
Moving on here, let's see if you can't get that. Sorry, here I kind of didn't plan this out. I just kind of wanted to uh, help you guys out while I was doing this. I kind of just thought of this and grabbed the camera. So anyways, we have this here. This is an Amazon sword right here. And what I mean by if you break, break like a leaf, you have to tear the whole thing off. Like if I'm scraping the algae off here and I tear just a little hole in this leaf or um, anything if I rip it off a little bit these leaves aren't regener regenerative and you, as you can see the leaf is pretty much the entire plant and uh, you know you have to tear it all the way from the stem right off the roots so and another thing see I just tore this off this was a uh, growing dead root and of course you always want to pull those off okay yeah, anything dead on these endorchorous in, in, in or endocorous or whatever you pronounce it, plants, um, you always want to tear off anything dead or not growing. Like, see, here's some, I, uh, I guess the leaves got cut off or I probably accidentally did that. You want to just tear it off because it's not going to grow back. Put that in there. These stems hanging around here, you know, like that. All right. And, of course, you can use scissors, but I just tear it off to make sure I get it from the base. Anyways, now cleaning the actual algae off, there's a little te technique I kind of use. It took me a while to figure out how to kind of do this. Um, what you should do is make sure the leaf is flat, and you kind of, whatever you're rubbing it with, you want to kind of have it damp. If it's dry, it's going to immediately dry out the leaf. That makes it really brittle, and it cracks very easily, okay? So, as you can see here, uh, or you might not be able to see, this, this towel right here is a little damp. This towel on here on the bottom, it doesn't really matter, but you want to make sure you lay it flat on there, as flat as you can get it, and then what I do is just stroke it gently, and then for algae that you can't get off, you go gently, but move really fast like this, but you want to make sure it's laying flat on here, or otherwise you will crack it, even if you go gently, but if you move really fast like this, you can pretty much get any, any algae off here. See, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. It's gross. It's a lot of algae, so. Pretty much get all of it off. So you can go really fast, but very gentle. Very, very gentle. These leaves break so easily. Okay. But these are some of my favorite plants to grow. I mean, it's a little bit harder, but it's somewhat rewarding. All right. And then again on this leaf. Now you do have to apply a little bit of pressure, but you know, be very, 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 very careful. Like I said, these are very delicate, so. Oh, and anyone with holes in it, like I said, the leaves aren't regenerative. If you can see that, there's a couple holes in there. Loach just punched holes in it. Just tear it right off. Even though that was like the best leaf on the whole planet. <laughs> You gotta do it. Oh, look at that one. It's a good leaf here, but I don't know if you can see that. Kind of got bit off there at the edges, so I gotta throw that one out too. Alright. Make cleaning that. And I'll do one more just so you get the idea. I'll grab another uh, plant here. Like I said, these are all the the two plants. I'll I might do another one, but the only two plants I'm gonna do here are in that endorcherous uh, genus or class or whatever. Mm -hmm. See that? Yuck. Let's see, and, and you want to make sure you get the bottom of the leaf too. But see, if you use a towel like I am. Here, uh, the towel usually gets the bottom of the leaf as you're doing it. I don't know if you can see here on this towel. See all that algae sticking to the towel? So if you use a towel, um, you will have a higher risk of the leaves breaking because it drives them out, but it'll also help you get the algae on the underside off pretty quick because there's not as much down there usually. Of course, it depends which plant, but like I said, this is mainly going to be for these endorchers plants, all right? And the rest of these look pretty good. Okay, now the next part, what I do is, I kind of, you don't have to do this. This might even be bad for the plants in some respects, okay? Because you, you got to remember, most of this algae is, you know, is plants, so 
let me move the camera over here. Sorry about this, guys. I did not plan this video at all. So, anyways, and as what I do is I take a bucket or just some container and I fill it with just cold tap water, okay? And then I just place the plant in here. And of course, algae doesn't like the tap. I mean, the plants don't really like the tap water that much, but neither does the algae. And the algae is going to react quicker than plants will. And uh, I just leave it in the cold tap water. It's not super cold or anything. And I just leave it in there. And if there was any algae I can't get, it usually starts coming off if I leave it in there for like an hour or so, maybe even a little longer. But And then that way I do all my plants, you know, whenever I have to take them out. And then I replant them in there. But you want to try really not to take the plants out. Okay, but sometimes you have to. And once in a while you got to do this. So that's why I'm showing you how to do it. So, all right. So hopefully that helps. Uh, I mean, you get the idea. As you can see, it's pretty much all going to be the same process. They're pretty much all the same plants, all right? All right, so I guess that's about it. Um, of course, like I said, I was probably going to just uh, make more videos, maybe more specific pertaining to other plants. If you have a specific question about that plant and it's something I happen to have or I'm able to get, okay? Alright guys, well, uh, I hope this helps. Uh, hopefully you didn't waste your time there, but uh, thanks for tuning in.